What's going on guys? So as you can see, we've got pre-front conditions, which is my absolute favorite time to fish. We've got high winds, we've got storms popping up. You can see topsail is getting lit up right now. I've got about two hours before I need to head in and I can do that in a safe manner. But uh, I'm trying to lay the absolute smack down on these fish today, so let's get to it. And I just uh, got a Ultegra 4000 this year, so I'm gonna fish that hard. Hopefully I'll have a review for you here shortly. Today's gonna be a great day to uh, test it out. There we go. There's a good one. That's a good one. That's the one we want right there. You can just tell it the way they hit it and just start digging. This is the first fish on the uh, old Tegra. I'm gonna give him a little bit more juice. It's feeling great on this reel so far. The way this fish was digging, it should be either one a small bonito or a nice Spanish. seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. And uh, if you saw my last video, I didn't have my net. Oh, that's a nice. Oh my God, dude, this is a massive Spanish. Okay. I don't even think that's going to fit in the net. This is the biggest Spanish I think I've ever caught. Don't you, don't you do that. Don't, don't do it. Definitely need help with this fish. I'm trying to stay calm. This is a stud Spanish. Oh, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, that is a Spanish right there. Oh my gosh, it's probably like a six, five, six pounder. All right, going in the box. All right, well. <laughs> first fish of the day i can go home i'm happy oh uh, man seriously I, I thought that was going to be a bonita the way it was running like that but i've just never caught a spanish that big so i, I can't wait to get that home and, and put the scale on it but let's get back to fishing i'll never forget that this day this moment right now i'll never forget it because i call it on artificial most of, the, oh, most of the time fish that size you're you're using live bait to catch them so on that retrieve i don't think i was okay all right we're on again this one's gonna be much smaller. Feels good though. Okay, bluefish. All right, yeah, I was saying I, I slowed my retrieve down because I had been here 10 or 15 minutes and didn't get a hit. Well, we can see that that retrieve was too slow. If you guys can see that, but look at my line frayed up. I just noticed that. So I need to cut it here and retie above that because that's going to cost me a fish. Right up there. You can't really tell it from the phone, but there's, there's fish busting the surface. No clue what it is, but I'm going to go check it out. I just, I, I'm not doing anything other than catching bluefish where I was, where I caught that first fish. So I'm going to move up here and at least explore this and see what it could be. It looks like it's just bait on the surface and single fish slicing through them which means they're probably good fish i just caught that one earlier so i would assume it's going to be a similar class size i'm going to kill this motor and just watch for a second okay like right here oh yeah yeah good fish good spanish good spanish okay man these are three four pounders all right motor's killed look at the oh i wish you guys could see this off in the distance about 50 yards up bait is just getting destroyed on the surface there we go there we go all right we're on oh yeah see this is this is a good fish i kind of want to drop the trolling motor but at the same time all right it's not as big oh okay we lost him that one was like a two pounder just got hit slow down a little yep 
Yep. Set to slow down a little bit. Got hit right by the boat. And then a little guy. Which, I mean, that's a good eater size. Okay. I'm looking for them big ones now. I've got it. I've got big, uh, big Spanish in my, in my bones. Oh yeah, there he is right there. Two. Let's let it. Oh my gosh! Did y'all see that? I don't know if you heard it, but I know you didn't see it. But it just—he just straight ate my whole bait and it snapped it right off. I felt it against the rod. Cut me right off. That was a good fish. I'm not prepared for fish this size today. I'm gonna have to up my leader. So after that last fish just destroyed my leader material, I was using 30 pound. I'm bumping it up to 50. Normally I wouldn't carry this in, you know, doing this type of fishing in, inside, just because you don't expect to need 50 pound fluorocarbon. But uh, I'm glad I have it today because clearly there's some quality fish out here. Oh yeah, we're on. Guess it hit on the drop. Okay. All right, we are on. And this is all Spanish right here. It's a school of, I don't know, probably what, 50, 50 yards wide. Cool. All right, here we go. Let's see if that was it. Oh, I'm getting hit, I'm getting hit speed up a little bit there we go there we go you're on <laughs> man this is fun this boat flipping up in. these fish are feeding so hard yeah we need to move we've gotten out of them All right, I'm easing up to the fish, busting the surface now. All right, let me kill it and get back out there. There we go, right there at the boat. <laughs> That's awesome. It's probably the most fun way to catch fish. You're just seeing them schooled up like this and just, just sling them in the boat. That's awesome. This is so much fun. Alright, going back in. One, two, three. Alright, we're on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sometimes it's just all about the angle. Like you gotta get your bait far enough away so that when it sinks you've got a, a good angle to retrieve it back to the boat. It's kinda hard to, to do it uh vertically all the time. Like I was trying to cast 10 feet off the boat. That's that's just tough, man. You're trying to catch the fish either on the, the jig on the bottom or on the deadfall, and it's just it's really tough. Right here off the side of the boat. One, two, three, four, five. All right, come on. There it is. Got him. Here we go. <laughs> it's not getting any more fun than this, man. They're just gorging on glass minnows. Right yeah, that was like on the drop. Man, that was sick. It hit, and then boom, fish. This, uh, this old Tegra is getting put to work today. Feels like a better fish for sure. Yeah, that's a better one. I'm sorry. That's the one. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Christian's like, man. Hey. 
Griff is like, man, I'm just trying to enjoy my morning, dude. Damn. Damn. You drop your little glass minnow snack. Toss this out and move over to the bird, see if I can get a fish like this. Yep. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my gosh. They are so thick right here. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That's a good one. Man, he ate it too, buddy. I'm just marking them everywhere. Yeah, I just got hit. There we go. And that does feel like a good one. Oh my gosh, that is a good one. Okay. Yeah, oh my gosh. I mean, look at the glass minnows that are coming out of this fish's mouth. Like, he sees just devouring these glass minnows. You just spit those both out. They've surfaced back over here. Oh, I'm already on. That's crazy. They're just hitting it on the drop. This feels really good. One thing I've noticed is it seems like the, the better fish here in the last hour have caught right after I throw it on the drop or right when I start retrieving. This is a good fish. He's staying down. Might be a blue. Oh no, it's a good Spanish. Oh my gosh. They're just getting better and better. better and better this is crazy look at this fish this is a good one if I hadn't have caught that first one like this this would be close to my PB I just got hit just got hit again there we go this is so fun I'm tired Another good one. I mean, I can pull the bait fish out of their throat. They're just gorging on them. I'm just counting the five in my head, like a quick five. All right, just got hit. Just slow down. There it is. Last one, let's see if we can get a cool little flip right here with him busting. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is the way to do it right there. I'm talking like five foot off the boat, just threw it and popped it twice. That's a good fish too, man. He is uh, straight up taking drag. Okay, I've got him foul hooked. He might come off actually. Oh, okay. He's hooking in the side of the body, in the gill plate, really. Got him. All right, get him off. And we are done Spanish mackerel fishing. I stopped by the eye. Griffin, come here, come here. Come here, buddy. 
stop by the island to let wild man run around. And uh, we tried a few other spots, but the Atlantic Bonito were nowhere to be found. I did catch more Spanish and more bluefish. But uh, yeah, let's get back to the house now. I can't wait to get a weight on this fish. Now that I'm home, I can get an actual measurement on this thing. Starting at zero there. About 25 and a half. Right at 26 to the fork. All right, I got my scale. Let's get a weight on them. I've got this scale. This is uh, just the old school pull scale. We're going to use this. And then I have this rusted digital scale. I at least want to know that I have a weight based on two instruments. Let's get the fish. All right. First, 5.36. Okay, citation six. So let's see if the other scale is gonna match that. I know you can't tell it, but that is about five and a half. Well, we didn't quite hit the citation mark, but I'm in the five pound club now. So that's really exciting for me. And it's something for me to look forward to breaking. A lot of the action that I saw today was first light. The big fish, that's when they were showing up. That's when I caught my fish. That's when I saw multiple breaching all around the boat. So it's safe to say that if they're not already here, which I think they are, they're on the way. But uh, if you like this type of content, hit subscribe, uh, like this video for me, it helps me grow, shoot me a comment. And if I can help you with any real estate needs, my contact information is down below. I appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next one.